I wouldn't exactly call the first Aquaman film high art or anything, but I would say it is one of the most entertaining comic book movies out there. What it lacks in originality with story elements taken from other movies, somewhat iffy looking CGI from time to time, and the fact that these two barely had any chemistry with each other during the whole film, it made up for those shortcomings by having an extremely likable lead, insanely good action, going balls to the walls crazy, and just being really fun. It honestly does not take a lot to make me happy. All of the colors and crazy shit going on on screen put a big dumb smile on my face when I first saw it, like a baby seeing Jingly Keys. So that's why Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is both satisfying and disappointing, because I got a lot of the stuff I wanted to see in a sequel to Aquaman, but then didn't see enough new things, and things I liked from before are made a little worse. I can easily say that this isn't the worst DCEU movie by a long shot, but it's also not exactly a great film on its own either. When taking everything into the- uh, excuse me. When taking everything in this film into consideration, to me at least, it's kinda just an average movie. You might get some enjoyment from it, seeing cool stuff and whatnot, but you're certainly not gonna remember any of it once it's over. While the first Aquaman film didn't really do anything unique or special, it was obviously insane silly and stupid. There was a novelty to it being the first film about nobody's favorite Justice League member. Plus, it came out during a time when superhero movies were still seen in a positive light. Aquaman 2 does a lot of what the first film did, keeping all of the crazy zany energy, but nothing else. This film feels like it's trying to replicate what the first film did, but without doing anything new, and it just comes off as a worse version of it. While the plot overall is just the right amount of weird and crazy, it goes all over the place with inconsistent tonal shifts, meaningless side plots, characters that are present but barely play any role in the story, and so on. There's actually quite a lot of decent world building going going on during the story, but unfortunately it feels as though that's the only kind of thing consistently good in the plot. Hell, what's funny is that we don't even have a good idea about what's going on in the plot until we get a massive lore dump in the last 30 minutes or so of the film we're left guessing what the overall end goal of the movie is. This isn't helped since the characters make pretty dumb decisions throughout, leading to some fairly big plot holes. One such example, without spoiling the movie, has to do with the heroes looking for Black Manta's secret base of operations, which Aquaman and Orm have to ask around and find its whereabouts, but the thing is, is that if you did just a little bit of critical thinking, you'd wonder why the hell Aquaman doesn't just talk to all the fish in the ocean to look for Manta. Seems like that would have been really helpful in a good use of previously established powers instead of just wasting the audience's time with useless subplots about pirates. Hell, what about that Pacific Rim kaiju Arthur was in control of in the last movie? I'm pretty sure that would have been helpful throughout the entirety of this movie. And look, some of these plot issues wouldn't be as bad if the characters at the very least were interesting, but they're really not. No one besides Orm gets a character arc or some kind of development, not even Aquaman himself. He starts the movie ruling as king, but barely getting by with the job, till the ending when he's still being king acting exactly as he did at the start. It's a shame too, since Arthur had a pretty good arc in the first film with him learning responsibility and all, really getting you invested in his story. But here, no one really has that kind of development. There's no character that actually goes through significant change besides Orm, but the movie doesn't show that change enough. I mean, sure, none of the characters are god-awful or anything, but with how little they're given to do, it makes the whole adventure feel less important. Characters are only interesting when they change and evolve. That's one of the things that makes stories interesting. So while I can say that the movie's story is fairly interesting, with all the comic book silliness, it's not very interesting from a plot or character front. Really, the only things keeping this movie from being a total waste of time are the visuals, performances, and comic book cheesiness. I have seen people online complaining about the CGI being pretty bad this time around, but maybe I'm blind or something because I thought it all looked pretty good. There were occasional moments where it looked rough, but nothing to the degree of like the flash or anything. The pretty neon glow from the first movie is still present, the creatures still look slimy, and the water looks wet. 
It's all good stuff. While none of the characters are written super well or extremely poor, at the very least, all the performances are great. Everyone plays their parts well enough to help sell the nonsense that's going on around them. Jason Momoa continues to be a likable lead, helping breathe much needed life into the story overall. Though the standouts here are most definitely Patrick Wilson and Yahya Abdul-Mateen, who I both wish were given a little bit more to do, since both certainly had the most going on in the film and had a little more to work with than everyone else. The buddy cop moments with Arthur and Orm were the best parts of the movie, and it's a shame we didn't get to see more of that. Though thankfully this isn't a total boring slog to go through, since there's still a good amount of silly and campiness present. I mean, you get to see people riding underwater speeders shaped like sharks and villain goons wearing costumes that make them look like the Cyclops from the Spongebob movie. It's that kind of stuff that made me giggle, because the ridiculousness of it was just so entertaining to watch, just like the first film. But that's just the thing though, this kind of wackiness and other stuff was all done in the first film already, but better. Sure, this film has decent CGI, but so does the first film, and it uses it more effectively. Sure, the actors are all doing good jobs, but they also were in the first film, on top of being better written. Sure, there's a lot of good, goofy stuff in the film, but just like everything else, it was already done in the first film, and better. There was more consistency in the first film as well, having a tighter script with a plot that made better use of its characters. Characters which were more endearing and had more going on than just being pushed to the next objective like it's a damn video game. And this isn't even mentioning the massive downgrade in the action scenes, from the long camera takes and spinning around characters and feeling super dynamic, to just a bunch of quick cuts and punches and kicks that go by so fast that you don't register them. Now, Aquaman 2, simply put, is the same shit, but just worse. Looking at this film in comparison to all the lazy recycled superhero films we've gotten recently, it's certainly not the worst thing out there. It isn't insultingly bad, more forgettable, though I would take this movie over those ones in a heartbeat, but I would also prefer for it to be legitimately incredible and well-made instead, but I'll take what I can get. In a way, it's kind of poetic for the DCEU to finally come to an end in such a fitting way, starting out with a film that was fairly polarizing and continuing with movies shifting wildly in quality from being pretty good to god-awful, now ending with a movie that really isn't terrible, but isn't anything special either. So congrats Aquaman 2, you weren't total garbage. Garbage. But compared to recent comic book movies and all the DCEU, that really isn't saying much. So, without anything to say, I give Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom a 5 out of 10.